Hey everybody, I'm on the corner of Yasukuni and Meijiro Avenue. I'm gonna be going to Kuranshita, Kitanomaru Park, just across from Yasukuni, one of the most beautiful places in all of Tokyo to see the cherry blossoms. Uh, this is March 21st, 2020. I like to tell you the dates. This is what I call a non-live stream, meaning a strovi, a streamed movie. And uh, I'll get a chance to edit this a little bit, add some music in there, but I want to bring you with me. Uh, this is a premiere, so there is a live chat. You can go back and reference that while you're watching to get an idea. So what do you think are the top 10 spots to see the cherry blossoms in Tokyo? That's for you to debate. But uh, for me, this is one of those, as well as Yasukuni Shrine just across the way. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. The picture picture, you can see me talking and hear me talking. And then we're going to walk every now and then. I'm going to be switching the picture so you don't see me just focus in on the cherry blossoms from different angles using the main screen. It's going to be really beautiful. It's about 4 p.m. here in Tokyo. So I'm hoping in the afternoon there aren't as many people out, but there is always going to be people <laughs> whenever there's cherry blossoms. Despite the worldwide situation, um, the blossoms bloom, nature calls and we as people answer. Just practice um, social distancing. Stay about two meters or six feet away from people as much as possible. Um, if you're wearing, if you do have symptoms, then you wanna wear a mask, but if not, the, the sunlight and distancing means you, don't, you shouldn't waste them. All right, the incline coming from Kudanshita and Jimbocho Station is a little bit, a little bit tough. So it might take you some time. If you look above me in the picture in picture, that is the Showa era museum. It's pretty cool to go inside there and take a look at the uh, generation from our fathers and see how they lived. And that's all preserved in there. 64 years, I believe. All right, so I'm, I'm looking over here. You can see they're just starting to bloom. These here, there's a couple of them. Do you see the little popcorn right there in the middle? It doesn't look like we're gonna have the full experience, but the reason for these live streams is because I know uh, tens of thousands of people had to cancel their trip. So because I live here, it's a chance for me to take you with me on these adventures, and that's what I'm doing. So this is uh, an investigation into the cherry blossoms. <laughs> Maybe I'll take you into Yasukuni as well if it's not not as good. Alright, looking down here, you can see it's uh, not quite there yet. Let's go over towards the moat on this side. I can never say it right. Chidori no. No, 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 no. I'll just write it on the screen there. Okay, yeah, it looks like from this angle up there, going to the Budokan, it's about 15% blossomed. But let's go take a quicker look, closer look, I should say, at these blossoms here. Oh, that's really nice. See the buds on there. Looks like we're about three days early for this spot but it's still really nice to see nature busting out. Right, let's go to the, to the gate here look up and then we're going to pan around to the other side of the moat. Wow.
Let's go to the other side here to the to the moat. Um, now, if the festi festival was on, there'd be a lot of people enjoying the beautiful weather today with boats down here, but we don't see that today. Pan up here. Beautiful the way that the light, the sunlight is right behind the blossoms, giving it a glow on the moat here. You can see it's not quite finished blooming. Now there are different varieties of cherry blossoms. People ask me when is the best time to come and I can tell you there's, it's, a, it's a pretty big window from March, uh, the middle of March till about the end of April depending on where you're going. It could be in Tohoku. Uh, my favorite place is Hirosaki in Aomori Prefecture uh, in front of Hirosaki Castle. That happens around the 23rd of April. Push it in here a little bit more, more stability. We're gonna follow the road around and see if we can get on that path and, and still practice uh, the social distancing. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. You look to the right side, you can see the big Tori gate of Yasukuni, and they have cherry blossoms on the other side of the shrine. But we're, we're on this side of the street. Oh, look at that car. Whoosh. All right, at the end of the road here, we're gonna be hanging a left. Uh, on this corner, that's also where the Indian Embassy is. That's where I went to get my my CIO card. Citizens of in, o, Indians, citizens of overseas Indians, or it's a COI CIO card. I forget. But I went to the embassy several times. Really nice people there. So I'm, I'm guessing we're not going to see a big change. Um, in the cherry blossoms on this side either, but it's better to come today than next weekend because I think next weekend's gonna be full bloom and it's gonna be pretty crazy here. The idea is to try to practice some safe distancing with people. Yeah, nobody can really stay inside for too long. So everybody wants to get out into the sun. Um, we've been going through this for, for a pretty long time since the I don't know, like the 20th of January. Let's see what we can see here. Yeah, there's the Indian Embassy on the uh, this side right here. Stop and uh, take pictures. Everybody likes to take uh, pictures. I'm trying my best to do to maintain a social distance. If it gets too 
too crazy, I'm probably just going to, to bail. Or I guess walk over on the other side. <laughs> All right, yeah, they're about 30%, 25-30% bloomed. Let's see if we can get a closer look up here. Dark. Dark. Let's change the angle a little bit. Here's a telephoto with a wide angle view. I love the way the cherry blossom trees. Um, now these aren't actual cherry trees, they're cherry blossoms, all right? So the blossoms are not actually going to turn into cherries. Some people ask me that. I, and don't ask me why they call them cherry blossoms. I guess they re remind, they look like blossoms on cherry trees. I'm not sure. I've never seen a cherry tree. The great state of Washington in the U.S. is very famous for exporting them to Japan. We get really... Um, sweet cherries from the United States. They're very famous. They're called American cherries. You can find them in the supermarkets in the summer. They come in in, in massive loads. A lot cheaper than uh, the Japanese cherries from Yamagata, which is a different variety. They're a little bit more um, light pink and have a, a more bitter taste to it, but a, a different sweetness, I guess you could say. It's pretty good. We don't have a, a lot of people around on this side. So we're going to go another um, 150, 200 meters and then wrap around. I'll take you to another spot. That's a car again. He went around the block. He's showboating. Mother Nature's showboating too. Here's a couple of nice blossoms here in a cluster. So what do you guys think of the Strovi, the uh, streamed movies with the picture in picture? If you like it, click, give me a, a thumbs up. Let me know that you want some more of these. Um, this Recently, the 4G LTE signal to do live streams has not been good. The reason why is because it seems like with everybody at home, the entire city has uh, locked down and, and turned on Netflix. And the result is that not everybody has Wi-Fi in their house. What they do is they use the 4G LTE and that makes the streaming uh, quality not as good. So we've had some pretty um, low res streams over the last three or four of them and I really apologize for that. The goal is to give you the best quality possible and uh, um, because I'm uploading this tonight, oh look, that's so beautiful. It's this tree that's just going off of the, do you see from here? It's going off of the banks into the moat close to the water source. And over decades, it's just started to, to grow closer and closer to the water. And in about 72 hours, it's going to be so beautiful. It's about, this tree, I'd say, about 40% bloomed. Again, it, the ones that are getting more sunlight probably have, uh, let's wait for this group of people to walk by. Get some more distancing. Here we go. It's a simple thing that we can all do to stay safe. Just practice the best that you can, social distancing about two meters away from, from the rest of the people. Look at that, so beautiful. Just walk slowly. And over here.
Hey everybody, I'm at the International Post Office. These are the Patreon Postcard Club members, the new ones. I'm sending this out to uh, Tony, Christopher, Garrett, David, and Nick. It's on the way. If you'd like a postcard too, sign up on Patreon. I came here a couple of years ago, did a live stream. The signal was so bad because there were so many people crowded in one area, we didn't get a really good view. So hopefully with this uh, a non-live stream, you can get a better idea of what this area is like. And maybe next year, <laughs> the year after, whenever it's okay to come back to Tokyo, you'll be able to, to walk around and get a nice view. It is really stunning. And this is an iPhone 11 Pro on a, a DJI Osmo Mobile 3 does a pretty good job of working together using the double take app. Um, the ultra wide is just wide enough to capture the side of the um, gimbal, but it's still, despite that, you get a pretty good, pretty good view. The light is hitting the cherry blossoms just on the, on the edges of it, giving it this kind of a nice glow to it. <laughs> this is the picture that he was taking. Not quite white enough. I think because it's uh, about 40% bloomed on the other side. The morning sunlight hits on that bank and the afternoon sunlight, or is it the other way around? Maybe just the afternoon sunlight hits there. You can see on the, now we're, we're getting into that spot of sunlight in the center of the wide angle. Stop there for a second. Whoosh, let's get let's get moving a little bit more down here. Another place that's really beautiful is in Washington D.C. And uh, I I think that's a little bit later than Tokyo, maybe closer to April second or third. It'll bloom there. Tokyo's weather is is very much like. Uh, Washington DC is I think. It's got very mild winters. sisters enjoying the cherry blossoms right there oh that's sad to see do you see those boats down there that's the uh, the swan boats this is where people can rent them and ride them out to the center of the the moat but they've been closed because of the situation uh, we're gonna walk just about over there do you see that point uh, on the left side of your screen let's go over in that direction and then see see what else we can find The sun has now dipped behind the building there, so we don't have that same glow to the cherry blossoms as we had about 10 minutes ago. It's sort of like a cherry blossom tunnel. Which are so beautiful outside of, of the city. I love it when it, they come out of the trunk of the cherry blossom tree like this. It's pretty neat. If we pan up it, you can see there's more patches of blossom popping out. Nice.
This tree's got lots of sprouts out of it. And, and somebody told me, um, who was it? I think it was Jaya for, from the channel Tokyo Lama told me that uh, the cherry blossom trees grow pretty quickly. You can see the new, new um, sprouts coming out of the trunk of this one. Probably getting trimmed by the keepers. Ah, this area is pretty nice. look back the way we just walked here. I'm using the telephoto lens on the ultra wide as a picture in picture right now. Okay, move on. The Sakura Guide, and they're doing it from March, what looks like March 20th to 29th. The guide is here. They're saying that the guide map is free, and they take donations. Right, very pretty. This is a reason why a lot of people wanted to come to Japan. Um, again, I, Tokyo's got some nice spots, but I don't think that Tokyo is the cherry blossom capital of Japan. <laughs> it might be, it might be one of the most populated places, but it's not a place where you um, really feel the same touch of nature. But it's nice to see that the city does have so many parks to celebrate the cherry blossom season just this year it's not as festive as in years past So this is back at Yasukuni Shrine. Wow. You can see it is a, uh, wait a second. All right, I'm back at Yasukuni Shrine. You can see uh, it's totally different from about a week ago when I was here to see the index tree. Uh, if you just pan up and look around, it is so beautiful. Let me get out of the sunlight here. Ah, it's bright. Wow, these here are, some of them look like they're at 100%. It looks like it had snowed here. I'm glad I came over here for a couple of minutes just to check it out. Wow. Let's go over there. So that straight ahead is the index tree that I came to see last week. And there was just one or two blossoms on it. Do you remember that? Now you can see from the back here. And they've removed the, the barrier so you can get a little bit closer and walk around the entire index tree. It is at full bloom now. So I'm gonna get, go behind the uh, sun here and we'll get a, a nice view of the blossoms illuminated from the front. The 
old respected index tree. Looking pretty nice today. Yasukuni Shrine to the left, we have the, the No Theater. If you walk over to the side gate out of the main shrine, you have something of a cherry blossom tunnel going on. Let's walk over in that direction. On the left side, sorry, on the right side, you see the, the shrine and on the left side with the telephoto, we have the side entrance to the gate, which is really beautiful. So let's walk a little bit here, take a look at the sunlight hitting this tree that's leaning into the shrine a little bit. Just when you do come here, remember it's a place of worship. It's a sacred place to be respectful. Wow, it's really nice lighting right now. We can walk back through. Underneath the trees here. At night they would illuminate these, but uh, the city has, has uh, canceled all of the festivities, meaning uh, night illuminations are over. For this year anyways. They did this in the tw after the uh, 2011 uh, Great Tohoku earthquake, which took place also in March, and they canceled cherry blossom uh, festivities that year as well. It's just the country wasn't in the mood to celebrate, and it's the same thing here, not just for national for public safety issues. People are getting together anyways, as you see, but to minimize that as much as possible, it's that's an important thing. All right, let's let's go around this tree and then come out to the entrance and then at the end. I like this one right here by the gate. It's at 100% bloom. This one is striking, isn't it? Can live in that moment forever. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this live stream, taking you around uh, the Kudansta area and Yasukuni as well. It was pretty beautiful in here. Uh, it, this is the time of year we all try to get outside. But if you do, if you are in Japan, you are traveling around. Uh, please keep safe distances from everybody, take precautions, and uh, be safe everybody, and I'll see you in another live stream again real soon. <laughs>